Hi, this is Asa, and welcome to my audio experience. I've got good news for you. This show here, in our camp, in this place, whatever you came here with is not what you have to leave here with. Okay? The rest of your days can be the best of your days. You don't have to stay where you are. You can get better. And that's what we want to help you do. Remember, if you just eat one healthy meal, you're making progress. If you walk, go out and walk 15 minutes today versus not walking yesterday, you're making progress. It's all about progress. And you know what the key to happiness is? They've done all these studies and psychology and research. The key to happiness in life is not what you think it is. It's not just fun times and watching a football game or eating a good meal or hanging out with friends. It's not. The number one key for ultimate happiness is progress in life. When we make progress, we are actually the happiest and in the happiest state that we can be in. That's progress, okay? So we want to help you make that progress when it comes to your health and with your life. Make sure to give us a call, 888-283-7272. That's 888-283-7272. Also, go to the website. Go to Believe Health TV. That's Believe Health TV, and you can find everything you need there. If you don't have a free copy of my book, look, you have to get a copy. I'm telling you, we want to be a blessing to you. We want to help you, encourage you, equip you, and give you the things that you need because you've been such a faithful listener, viewer, and just person in our world, in our camp. We call you family. So go to MyFreeHealthBook.com. We're giving you a copy, my free hard copy, uh, hard copy of my book, a best-selling book. Go to MyFreeHealthBook.com, and we'll send you a copy. Okay, but we want to be here for you each and every day just like we are, to help you grow. You can also call me at the number. You can DM me in any of my social media platforms. You can also text me on the website. It's got the text number as well. You can text. I think they may have it on the screen there as well. But you can always reach out to us any way you want, and we want to be an encouragement to you along the way. All right, let's get on the phones, and let's go to Melba. Hi, Melba. Welcome to the show. I just wanted to let everybody know that if you have a wasp, Sting or any kind of bee sting, you use natural Adolf's meat tenderizer, pour it on a piece of gauze or a paper towel or whatever, and dampen it so that it looks like wet sand and throw it on the sting. It immediately takes the pain away and it breaks down the allergic reaction and it is so easy and so much better. <laughs> That's great. Thanks for encouraging everybody. You know, there's nothing better than than grandma remedies like that's that's the best i've got a whole section in the back of my book with all these grandma remedies i mean i've got like so many of them it's great i mean you've probably heard of some of them many of them you probably i know you haven't because i've i've gotten them from um, amazing doctors from all over the world that gave me these little tips and tricks that it's like old school type medicine but it works and it's amazing but that's great for for a wasp for a bee sting that's amazing the other thing i would add to that is anytime you've got that kind of histamine response from the the, the venom of one of those uh, you you want to handle things internally as well. So the external is good, but you want to handle what's going on internally. Apple cider vinegar, about a tablespoon, depending on the body weight, if it's a child or an adult. But apple cider vinegar is amazing because it goes in, it cuts down the histamine response in the body, increases hydrochloric acid in the stomach, and can be a great adjunct to what you just talked about. It can be a great addition to that as well. So that's that's really, really great. Anytime you've got an, an interaction like that, because lots of things hurt like they, even if you're an adult they hurt it's like man you see a wasp or hornet you're like you run right but it's if you handle it especially if it's like a child which can be really really bad and challenging uh, traumatic for a lot of kids if you have all that on hand it can really make a difference with them so i encourage you that's great thank you for for bringing that to the show and encouraging everyone with that if you haven't given us a call yet 888-283-7272 or go to believe health tv and that's our network where we've got of course now we've got all kinds of original health programming that's there roku fire tv you can find us apple tv all of them just look for believe health tv and you can check out uh, original programming there new docuseries are coming out so much in the health space to be able to encourage you with your health and with your life and i'm so i'm so excited like, I'm just so excited that we're in a place now where we have these mediums, with it's radio and television and digital, with uh, streaming. I mean, all of this that we can now connect. We've created such a great network. If you haven't joined our health club yet, man, you've got to do that. You know, I remember when I was a kid, my dad used to, it was way back in the day, it was this thing called Cosmopolitan, right? And they called it the health club. That's what all his buddies called it, and that's whatever. It wasn't the gym. It wasn't the fitness center. It wasn't that. They called it the health club, right? Because that's where you went to work on your health. And they had everything, like racquetball, tennis, swimming, weights, uh, jogging track, right? They had all those things. But they called it the health club. It was interesting. They had food there, cafes there where they're making, like, juices and smoothies and the whole nine. 
right? So it was, it was amazing. But I remember him talking about it all the time. And that was like kind of his break of where he went to get the kind of information that he needed to, to get healthy. And I just find that, I find that interesting uh, that, you know, we were able to come to a place now where we've got everything online and digital and you could be in Ontario or India. <laughs> we've got people from, I don't know how many countries that are involved in what we're doing now, uh, just connecting with us to, to be a part of everything that we're doing. So we just love that you're here with us, but I want to encourage you to, to get in the health club, check it out. Cause there's people going through things that you're going through. Like if you need to lose hundred pounds, somebody's already done it, right? If you need to lose 25 pounds, they've lost hundred. They can take you by the hand and walk you through it. Or if somebody's, you, you deal with high blood pressure, you're trying to figure all that out. There's somebody in there that's been on high blood pressure medications, like three of them, and they're not on them anymore, right? So, I mean, the people that have followed our principles that we teach, but they've really walked it out. They've done the work and they've gotten the results and they can help you so much faster than you just trying to go through and, and trying to figure out on your own. So much better to do it that way. So much better. So I encourage you, check out the health club. Go to Believe Health TV. You'll find everything there. Everything's there. All right, let's get on the phones and go with Shannon. Hi, Shannon. Welcome. I've had a colectomy of removal most of my large intestines. Three of my motors and in my intestines were removed. Um, I have one left in my small intestines that seems to be shutting down. And I'm wondering if there's anything on the nutritional side that I might could do to increase my health or my lifespan. There, sweetheart, thanks for, for calling us. There's a lot you can do. A whole lot. But I'll tell you, I don't know who, how many different specialists and doctors that you're working with, but I would talk to them and really, really focus, because I don't know what stage this is. That's a longer conversation. But for here, I can tell you this, that your eating habits are going to matter a lot. Cutting out gluten, that's pretty much any kind of bread, flour, uh, pasta, crackers, anything that's got flour in it, flour-based foods, cutting that out is going to be really important. And then dairy products, too, can be a real culprit when you're dealing with intestinal issues at all. Not that these foods are bad for you and that you can't ever have them again, but when you're going through this time period, it's good to cut those out for about an eight-week period and see how your body responds. Because many times there's so much inflammation going on, there's what's called leaky gut that's going on in the gut and the microbiome of the gut that it can cause a lot of issues. So cutting that out and then allowing your body to heal that way is a good starting point. Now, if you haven't used L-glutamine before, L-glutamine is really important. It's an amino acid that we can get from food, but we don't get a lot of it. Supplementing with, with glutamine, L-glutamine, is really good, and they've proven that it's healthy in healing the gut and the gut lining. So that's one thing you can look at. The other thing that's really important, I think, is probiotics. And probiotics, now we know for a fact, is one of the major keys of promoting good gut health, regardless of what's going on. If the shut, things are shutting down, as you say, whatever it is, getting the right kind of bacteria in the gut is only going to move it in the right direction. So I would encourage you, probiotics, at least $30 billion per capsule. So remember that number, at least $30 billion. You have to get a certain amount of the bacteria in for them to really work effectively. And so $30 billion is typically the number that we want to focus in on. But hands down, you know, functioning on a, on a probiotic and, and getting the right kind of foods in, so, uh, fermented foods like kefir and also kimchi, those are great too. Building the gut up is so key. Like I, 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 can't, I can't even, building the gut, keeping the gut healthy is so vital. If you're looking for increased strength, increased endurance, and better recovery, then look no further than an all-natural nutritional supplement called creatine hydrochloride. Concrete is the brand, and it's the most absorbable form of creatine hydrochloride found today. Now, creatine is not just for athletes. You've probably heard that before, but concrete, creatine hydrochloride, is for the everyday person looking to improve their health. Listen, I started taking creatine in college when I was a strength conditioning coach at Florida State University. And I've taken it ever since my college years. And it's made a massive difference in my life. Everything in my body, I believe, is functioning better because of creatine. Creatine hydrochloride, I've moved over to using concrete. And it is the best form of creatine on the market. Concrete creatine hydrochloride is available at most Walmart stores and on walmart.com or any store that carries nutritional supplements. Just make sure to look for concrete brand creatine hydrochloride and watch your endurance, your strength, and your recovery and your immune system get boosted today. To find out more, connect with On Call Radio online at InShapeNetwork.com. Call the gut the second brain, okay? So we know how important our brain is. Well, they call the gut the second brain. Like it is one of those things where I think we're learning more now in medicine and healthcare 
how important gut health is. I think if we focus on gut health more than anything else, you can accomplish so much with so many conditions. And, and I mean across the board, like diabetes, obesity, uh, high blood pressure, even things like dementia and Alzheimer's and depression, any, even things like arthritis. I mean, I think, you know, itis, arthritis is joint inflammation. That's what it means. But many times it's the things where it's not just that we're overweight and wearing our joints down or you're an athlete and you just wore out your joints. I mean, I don't really, I mean, that does happen over a long time, but not when you're like 30 and 40 and 50, you should still have great joint motion and mobility at that point and still be able to do a lot of things. And it really comes down to nutrition more than anything, you know, when it comes down to this. So I would, I would focus in, in the grand scheme of things on you know, really making the right nutritional choices. It, it has to happen. Getting lab work done is uh, really, really important too. So I would really encourage you to get lab work done. Know your numbers. Know the numbers, okay? That's so important uh, to know your numbers. And blood work across the board every three to four months, 90 to 120 days. Every 90 to 120 days, focus in and, and get your numbers done. If your doctor's not key on that, if they're not, you know, really up on that, then uh, again, I would... I would challenge him. I would say, look, I want to have my lab work done. I want to get my blood work done on a regular basis. Uh, if, if they're not, you know, really, a lot of doctors want to do it their way. That's okay. Respectfully so. So a lot of doctors want to do it their way. But at the end of the day, it's your body and it's your health. And I would always make sure that you're in charge. Be respectful always, but when it comes down to getting your lab work done or any test that you want done, if you feel like you want to have it done, just because they're the smart, smartest person in the room, and they are, I mean, trust me, to be a doctor, it's a lot of work, a lot of experience, but it's still your body at the end of the day. So I want to encourage you to ask for the lab work or whatever you want to get done or whatever you want to get checked out, but you do need to get overall assessment, hormones, vitamin, nutritional deficiencies, I would say at least every four months uh, to be on the, the safe side, Okay. That's it. I would, I would definitely do that. All right, let's go to the phones in just a minute. Uh, I want to talk to Allison. Hi, Allison. What is your health challenge? No, an electric wheelchair. So, of course, I don't get a lot of exercise. And I'm trying to find out how many calories I should eat a day and what foods. If you could tell me this, that would be wonderful because I really need to lose weight. Thank you and have a blessed day. <laughs> you know, th- thank you. And I'll tell you, being in a wheelchair, it uh, all depends. It depends on your body weight and your age. There's formulas and calculations. I'll tell you what, if you, if you, we'll, we'll touch base with you, one of our health coach providers, and we can figure out exactly what you need, uh, you know, to, to get that. Because it, it does, it comes down to calories, but you've got to have the right, what we call macronutrients. So proteins, fats, and carbohydrates, you have to have the right amount of each to really be in the right place in the right space, okay? So protein, it's just going to depend on your body weight. Fats are going to depend on your body weight, carbs. But your exercise activity, being, being in a wheelchair, that is the key. Like you want to do everything you can. If you can move your arms and you, you've got good arm mobility, there's shoulder exercise machines. But I will tell you that exercising every day is going to be important and figuring out what you can do, whatever it is. If it's getting in a pool, uh, if it's, I mean, there, there's all kinds of things. There, these shoulder activities, if it's just push, you know, wheeling yourself and if it's going at a certain pace over a long period of time, they've got these things you can do with people in wheelchairs that's like a, 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 an apparatus that you can put the wheelchair in and it spins, right? You can just work your body, but the thing's not moving. All of these are beneficial, but activity, activity, activity is going to be a key when you're dealing with this. But yes, getting the right kind of nutrition is essential for you with having the right body composition and really having optimal health. I'm so glad you're with us today. No matter how you've tuned in, where you've come from, just know that you're loved here, that we value you here, your family here, and we want to see you thrive. We want to see you go to that next level with your health and your life. I don't want to see you struggle, okay? I just don't. I don't want to see you struggle with your weight. I don't want to see you struggle with taking a bunch of medications. Like life, there's more to life than that. And and just because you've made maybe not the best choices that could be putting you in that situation, you can always lifestyle your way out of it. And that's the key. You have to look at that and realize that if these two hands did it, they got me into the situation because mostly it's not genetic. Your hands, your body, your choices, your mind can get yourself out of it. And so you are in charge of you and you owe you to do this, to step up and to, and to really get your game on and to exercise and to eat right, to be there for your family. Look, your kids, your grandkids, your people around you that love you, they need you to be healthy. We need you. There's no one else like you, okay? No one else has the same thumbprint as you, no one. No one has the same hair follicle that you have, no one. No one has the same retina in their eye as you. There's only one you. Nobody else on the face of the planet is you. And no matter what you're struggling with, what you're going through, just know that we need you to be healthy. 
At whatever age you are, we need you here. There's people that love you that need you here. You have gifts and talents and abilities on the inside. We need you here. So make sure that you're doing everything you can to maximize the gift of health that you've been given so that you can do everything that you've been called to do, everything that you were designed to do. And we want to see that for you. We want to see you reach your potential and become that best version of you that I know you can be and you know you can be. And you know you haven't even scratched the surface of being that person. But you want to be and, you know, you desired to be, but you just didn't know how to get there. And on this show, we're going to help you get there. We're going to help you make the right kind of choices. All right. If you ever struggle with depression, anybody struggle with depression? So depression is something that, that a lot of people struggle with. And I'll tell you that one of the big keys you've got to look at with depression is gut health and also nutritional deficiencies. I get asked this all the time. I get asked about depression and, you know, what can you do and, and what types of things can you do? Here's the things you've got to focus in on. Number one, if you struggle with depression, do not leave it untreated. Don't. It, one of the number one things it leads to are these thoughts that are not controlled can lead to thoughts like suicidal thoughts. One of the biggest ones that goes down the pipeline when depression is not treated. But number one is depression a lot of times happens from the gut. If the gut is unhealthy and the gut is not uh, producing the right kind of neurotransmitters, because remember, all of our brain chemicals start in the gut and they go to the brain. So we've got to get that working effectively first to get the right kind of nutrients in. And once we get the right kind of nutrients in, you can make things in your brain like serotonin, dopamine, acetylcholine, GABA, all these chemicals that what the brain medications and depression medications do, that's what they do is they cause a lot of this. So I just want to encourage you now to look at your nutrition. Things like pyridoxal 5-phosphate, P5P, okay, things like vitamin B6 is extremely important. Omega-3 fatty acids, vitamin D, all these, turmeric, all these are vital for you to have great, great brain function. And if you look at somebody that's heavily deficient, they are depressed. It's one of the number one brain symptoms is people that suffer depression or anxiety. Anxiety is another one. But they kind of go in the same category. They just function a little bit differently. But they still struggle with the same thing. You put them on the medications that can be created in the gut that creates those chemicals to the brain. In my book, we send you a copy of that for free. All that is in the book, and it will teach you the kind of foods that you need to have on a regular basis to be able to do that. Just go to MyFreeHealthBook.com, and that can be a great encouragement to you. Hi, it's Asa. I'm giving you a copy of my best-selling book, for free to help you in your health journey today. I'll pay for the book. All you do is just cover the small shipping and handling costs. Go to AsaRx.com and get your free book today. Did you know that you can listen to the AsaRx audio experience on Spotify and Pandora? For all the ways to watch and listen, check out our show page at AsaRx.com slash experience. To find out more, visit the show online, InShapeNetwork.com. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm so glad you're with us today. This show is about you. It's about your health and it's about your life. Look, if the body can get sick, it can also get well. Lifestyle is our medicine. So the choices we make today can and will determine the kind of health that we're going to have. You can have great health. You just have to make the right kind of choices every single day. No one can do this for you, though. That's the key. All right, everybody wants somebody to do something for them. On this deal, nobody can do this for you. You have to do it for you, and that's the key. Now, 888 is the number. You can give us a call anytime. You can also text us. If you want to just text a question, you can DM us uh, on any of the social media direct message. You can send us anything on social media, Twitter, uh, Facebook, uh, Instagram, TikTok, all of those, right? We're everywhere. So you can find us there. Uh, the website, go to Believe Health TV and check us out. Our entire network, you can see our original programming, uh, the Dr. Asa Show, everything is there. And of course, we've got new shows coming out, brand new docuseries, and of course, from reality TV that's coming up as well. So we're here for you each and every day. We want to encourage you, equip you, and help you to be able to live your best life and to become the best version of you. It's really what it's all about. So again, let's kick it off. I want to start right now with talking about exercise and working out. People ask me all the time. They're like, doc, what do you do? Like there's so much information right now about intermittent fasting and should you eat uh, or should you train, meaning like exercise in a fasted state or in a, what we call a fed state after you've eaten something. So which one's better? And I have studied this inside and out. I've tried things different myself. And I can tell you the research is pretty clear. The science is very clear on several things. One is if you're wanting to burn fat, and there's, there's arguments against this, but I'll tell you this. If you want to burn fat, you know, it's okay to train fasted 
if you're doing what's called like a steady state cardio, okay? So if you're going to go out and walk the block, that's fine. You can do that fasted. You're not going to tear down hardly any muscle, and you're going to dip into your fat stores. It's a good way to burn fat. If you want to do anything that's higher intensity, whatever that might be, okay, you definitely do not want to do that fasted. You want to do a little bit of protein and a little bit of carbohydrates before any kind of resistance or high-intensity exercise. What they've shown is that the body prefers to use a carbohydrate source during that time. Now, if you're doing a straight keto diet and you're staying in ketosis, okay, I would encourage you to do this method right here. Don't do any of the carbohydrates. You know, they say they give you like 50 grams of carbs a day if you're on keto, okay? Don't spread that out over the day. I would I would work out, do your exercise, like especially if you're doing weights, and take the 50 grams of carbs and put it in one slot right after your workout. Because what's going to happen is, yes, you're staying in ketosis, and the key is to stay in ketosis, but those 50 grams of carbs that you can get in for the most part, or at least get half of that, let's say 25 grams of carbs right after your workout, and you can sprinkle the one, two, three, four, five grams, uh, whatever it is, in your meals and the rest of the day whenever you eat those. But it's important to get the carbohydrates in right after your exercise or around that training to preserve as much muscle tissue because it does prefer glycogen and it does prefer uh, carbohydrates around workouts and you're going to get better performance if you do it that way. So just an encouragement to you along those lines. The science is really strong behind that. And again, intermittent fasting, I'm a huge fan. There's like so much information. We're going to be talking about that a lot more here on the show. But there's eating in that window. Now, there's different thoughts about intermittent fasting. You can have these windows where you fast 16 hours. This is the most common. It's called a 16-8, where you fast 16 hours, and then eight hours, you're in a window, and you eat all your calories in that eight-hour window. Not a bad idea, but you always, and again, if you want to do intermittent fasting and you're not really doing just straight keto, you want to train during that fed time period. You don't want to be training in that, that long window where you're not eating anything, unless it's empty stomach cardio, and it's like a light cardio that you're doing. That's okay. But I would encourage you along the way, definitely, in, in this path, uh, to make sure that you're eating the right kind of foods, uh, you know, in the right way. But I'll, I'll tell you this. The training is really important. And getting the right amount of carbohydrates and protein. Now, if you're doing keto and you're going really low carbohydrate, then, you know, using protein shakes like a whey protein is really good. But something liquid, and I would do it very, very low, like with no fat in it before your workouts because it'll sustain better and your digestion will be better. You'll be less sluggish during the workout as well. So just a couple of tips to kind of break all that down. And there's so much I could talk about with that. But, you know, keeping it simple really does help in this category. And it's just a, a big deal for so many people. Now, one of the keys I want to talk about, too, we're talking about exercise, okay? And I'm so glad you're with us. Like, this is so important. This is so important. We're talking about exercise. With exercise, there's so many different things that you can do, okay? There's so many methods you can do cardio, and you can play racquetball, you can go swimming, you can do weights, you can do resistance bands. Like, there's so many different activities. One of the things you want to do is you want to mix up doing cardiovascular activity and some kind of resistance training. Now, I love the gym. You know, really, I, I, the, the gym is one of my favorite places. I love exercising in, in a fitness center. It's just like my, my place I like to go. It's my sanctuary. I like to go hang out. I like to go do that. Uh, I like to really, you know, get in that, that kind of space. And it's, it's so important to find your happy place. You know, it's so important to really, you know, get into your spot and and get into that groove. Some people just love to run. And I know plenty of people that just love to put on their shoes and go out and run, right? Like, it's just that simple. I know plenty of people that just love, that, like myself, they just love the gym. Like, I like going to a gym. It could be dirty. It could be dingy. It doesn't have to be pretty. Uh, it doesn't have to have all the fancy stuff in it. Uh, but I just love it. You know, I love going to that place and, and working out with weights. Now, I don't mind doing a garage gym, something along those lines, but I like the fitness idea. I love, I love being in that hardcore atmosphere where it's the, me and the iron and my two hands, and I put the work in. I like that. 
I do like doing some cardio, but it's got to be intense. I don't like this lollygagging around, getting on a bike and just riding. Uh, for me, that doesn't do a whole lot. I like to run sprints. I like to do explosive activity. Uh, those are the kind of things that I enjoy doing. So you got to find your, your thing that you like and really you know, get in that, and, and it can make a difference. Now, you can always give us a call, 888-283-7272. That's 888-283-7272, or go to the website, go to Believe Health TV. There, all our original programming is, is all there, all, all our shows, including the Dr. Asa Show. And make sure, you can text me, DM me on any social media, and if you haven't gotten a free copy of my book, go to MyFreeHealthBook.com. We'll send you a copy for free of my hardback best-selling book to get you started. We just For you being a great listener or viewer, we just want to be a blessing to you, help you, and encourage you along the way. Let's get on the phones and go to Sergio. Hi, Sergio. What's your health challenge? I'm glad your radio guy is talking about eating nuts. They're great, but he's got something backwards. You should eat the nuts that are cooked in oil or baked with no oil, but they should be salt-free. Well, Sergio, I'm glad you asked that question, or I'm glad you uh, tried to correct us here. Uh, let me Let me correct you. You don't want to eat any nuts in oil. So, so the, the thing is, when nuts are cooked in oil, that oil, whatever it is, cottonseed oil, canola oil, whatever they use, it doesn't matter. It breaks down into a trans fat, which is the most cancer-causing fat that you can put in your body. So nuts that are cooked in oil are one of the worst types of things you can put in your body. Anything cooked in a vegetable-type oil, you do not want to put in your body at all because it turns rancid. The heat breaks down the fat. One of the best things you can have, uh, first of all, salt's not bad for you. That's a myth. Uh, just so you know, like sea salt especially has over 68 minerals in it that our body needs on a regular basis. And so using sea salt that's on raw nuts is probably one of the best things you can do. And yes, even if you have high blood pressure, using a certain amount of the right kind of salt, not just you know cheap sodium, but I'm talking about like mineral-based salts, is some of the best things you can put in your body. So, you know, again, it's one of those things where it's just misinformation. There's a lot of it. But you want to stay away from any kind of nut roasted in oil. Always, always, always go for raw nuts that are either baked or they and they can have sprinkled with sea salt. That's totally fine. Or just raw is the better way to go. But you will get the most benefit out of that and have the most nutrients that you can get out of those kind of nuts. Now, I will tell you one thing about nuts and cooked in oil. They do taste amazing. There's there's no doubt about that, but they're not great for you, and I would avoid those uh, if you possibly can. The better way to go are the raw nuts, and that's that's usually uh, the the best key in the whole the whole deal. All right. Now keep in mind that nuts are one of the most power packed fat and protein sources that we have. Now I will tell you that one of the keys when it comes to the right kind of fats, you have omega-3, 6s, and 9s, okay? These are all the different fatty acids that we have. We're talking about nuts for a minute. I want to talk, I want to break this down because it's really, really important. They've done studies, and, and we know now that just one to two ounces, okay, of nuts every single day, and that's, that's hazelnuts, it could be walnuts, it could be uh, cashews, any of them. Okay, they're all great, but we know for a fact that one to two ounces of nuts every single day can lower cancer risk by like 65%. But get this, if you're concerned about weight loss, they said, or this not they, they the studies show us that you can reduce your waistline up to four inches by just eating nuts every single day. Like that is astounding to know that you can cut down your waistline. Now remember, the whole adage is your waistline compared to like heart disease, the measurements of your waistline. Your waistline is your lifeline. And so if you if you don't have the right ratios, if your waistline is too big, then again, it's gonna impact your heart and your overall health. And so you have to be extremely cautious with your measurements, making sure that your waist, you, you, you start to trim that down. Because again, a lot of times the waist fat, and the, it's not just belly fat, it's the visceral fat that's going on underneath the surface and that's where the challenge is. You know, getting that down is, is really your, your health challenge overall because that belly fat is, is the one that can create the most disease. We call it metabolic disease in the body. 
But that's the greatest health challenge, and that's what we face today. Want to turn back the clock 15 years and have more energy? This is Dr. Asa telling you to just breathe with LiveO2. LiveO2 delivers the right amount of oxygen we need for optimal health. Go to LiveO2.com. That's LiveO2.com. with On Call Radio and watch On Call TV at InShapeNetwork.com. We're seeing a lot of people with obesity, but they've got, you know, with obesity being overweight, they have high blood pressure, they've got high cholesterol, diabetes, kind of the big trio that goes with that. And you don't have to have that. Like, there's so many natural things you can do to bring that down and to get things balanced uh, to, to make that a huge impact. All right, let's get to the phones and talk to Carlton. Hi, Carlton. Uh, I'm a double amputee uh, with chronic pain, and uh... okay, so I think we got cut off there. But you, you say so you're a double amputee and a lot of pain. Look, I, you know, in a situation like that, I've had, um, of course, worked with people as patients, and it's it's a real tough way to go. I, I there's no words I can give you to help in this situation like it's it's a challenge right but i will tell you this what you do have is you have whatever limbs you do have right and so at least you still have always i have a great pastor friend of mine he says this he says don't focus on what you've lost focus on what you have left right so we focus on what we have left that's the key. If you're in a lot of pain, remember the pain can come from a lot of different ways. So anytime there's pain, first thing you start out with is you start with an anti-inflammatory based diet. Now look, if you go to myfreehealthbook.com, we'll send you a copy of my book. It has the anti-inflammatory diet in it, the food list, all the foods to eat, the ones to avoid, ones to stay away from, the foods to eat on a regular basis. It has all that in there. So just get a copy. Go to myfreehealthbook.com. That's myfreehealthbook.com. They'll send you a copy of the book and you can easily have it just to you know to be a a resource for you to help you along the way but remember when it comes to pain always look at that look at things like turmeric which has curcumin in it Um, turmeric's got incredible research on it there's a product that i really like that is all natural 100 percent. it helps to break down a lot of the enzymes in the body and the proteins that don't get broken down that can trigger pain response called amino active and you can check out amino active at any website and go to my website go to believe health tv you'll see it there but i will tell you it's it's an amazing product that helps with pain and inflammation in the body and supports it but you know whatever your physicians have you on and whatever that game plan is you know you want to do that but make sure you're doing your own things at home like because remember your habits are it's not a pill that's going to get rid of the pain i mean it can help manage it put a band-aid over it but it's really the choices that you make every single day. That's what matters more than anything. I'm so glad you're with us. Look, remember one thing. Now, when it comes to your health, it comes down to your choices. Every single day, no matter what anybody tells you, your health is your greatest wealth and your choices really do matter. Now, I want to jump in and talk about a nutrient that is so vital and so important. I always have kind of have my food of the day that I like to harp on a little bit, but this one's really important. It really is. And the one that I'm going to talk about is magnesium. Look, this mineral, which is what it is, the mineral, we are so deficient in now more than ever. Like, it, it's responsible for, listen, over 300 chemical reactions in the body. 300. Like, there's not many vitamins and minerals that even come close to that, but it's responsible for over 300. It handles things, and multiple things, like nerve impulses. All your nerve impulses in the body. So think about people that have pain issues. They have any kind of, like, things like MS. So all the nerve impulses in the body are controlled by magnesium, or one of them. Temperature regulation, so if you get hot, you get cold, you think you're having hot flashes, you think it's your hormones, a lot of times it's a magnesium deficiency. Detoxification, did you know your body is constantly detoxifying? We have our own detoxification system. It's good to do kind of a deeper cleanse, like we have a detox with things we call a reset, but your body's detoxifying all the time. We have this thing called the lymphatic system. And that lymphatic system is like a pumping mechanism, and it gets rid of detoxins all the bo- throughout the body. Well, guess what? It needs magnesium to function. Magnesium is like the key that unlocks everything so that it works effectively. 
And then for overall energy production, if you feel tired and you feel fatigued and you feel lethargic, guess what? You're probably low in magnesium. And, of course, it helps with healthy bones and teeth. These are just some of the primary things that it does. So getting the right amount of this mineral is really important. It's very hard. Look, fruits and vegetables are where you're going to get it. And nuts and seeds, you can get a good amount of magnesium. But at the end of the day, like, it's very hard. I think supplementing with magnesium glycinate is one of my favorites because it does get into the muscle itself. And that's just a great way to go. Like, magnesium is an absolute key of doing something every single day. So I always talk about my foundational four, which is a good whole food multivitamin to give you a little bit of all the things that you need, vitamins and minerals. That's number one. And number two is also a digestive enzyme. You know, giving yourself, your body only breaks down a certain amount of food that you eat. So if you eat salmon and broccoli, those are good things. (laughs) But if you can't break them down, you're only as healthy as the food you can digest, absorb, assimilate, and eliminate. So if you're not digesting, you're only doing 15 to 20% of the food you're taking in, there's a challenge, right? So when you take a digestive enzyme, it will take you from digesting, absorbing 15 to 20% to like 80 or 90%. Like it jumps it up big time. And then number three, omega-3 fatty acids, one of my favorites. You have to have them. We're super deficient in them. And it's one of the main, I mean, all of our cells have a membrane around it that are made what's called a phospholipid membrane. And guess what? That's nothing but a big fatty acid. It's a fancy word for it. But we need enough of them. If we don't get them, our body doesn't function right. All your hormones and all that, that's kind of the baseline for it. And then the fourth one is a probiotic. Probiotics put the good bacteria back in the digestive tract. We have what's called a microbiome in the gut. It's responsible for all of that. And again, you know, that's those are the foundational four. But I would say number five would be vitamin D. Uh, Number six would be magnesium, and number seven would be creatine hydrochloride. Okay, creatine is amazing for the body. It's all kinds of studies are coming out on this. They've been doing it for like 30 years, well, 25 years. But the research is amazing. It's been proven. I've used it forever. But it's great for brain health. It's great for muscle function and retention of muscle mass. So many things it's helpful for along the way. But those are my keys when it comes down to it to really make a big difference in your overall health and your overall life. When it comes down to it, remember, your health is your greatest wealth. Use every tool that you can to optimize your body so it can function the best way possible. That's what we're here for. Did you know you could listen to the Asa RX audio experience on Spotify and Pandora? For all the ways to watch and listen, check out our show page at asarx.com slash experience. Hi, it's Asa. I'm giving you a copy of my best-selling book for free to help you in your health journey today. I'll pay for the book. All you do is just cover the small shipping and handling costs. Go to asarx.com and get your free book today. This episode is over, but check episode notes for links to products and services you've heard about on this episode. Thanks for listening and subscribing. Please share the Asa RX audio experience with others and stay in touch by giving us your comment or review.